Okay, okay, we're recording. Uh, what did we do last time? x squared minus 1 equals x plus 1. x... Oh, my writing's going minus 1. I'll just write that out again. x plus 1. x minus 1. Well, that's quite nice. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go 1 plus x squared. Now, at this point, you've got to be very careful, because if I just say 1 plus x squared, in fact, I'll write it out, 1 plus x squared, that can mean two things. That can mean 1 plus x squared, which is that, or it could equal 1 plus x squared. You see, you say them both in the same way. Look, this one here is 1 plus x squared, 1 plus x all squared, and this one's 1 plus x squared. And these different things. Different. Different. So what I mean to say is that 1 plus x all squared is not equal to 1 plus x squared most of the time. Of course, I could find a value. Well, in fact, if I say x equals 0, they're equal, because 1 equals 1. But most of the time, they're not equal. And if I wanted to, I could uh, define what most of the time meant. But there you go. OK, so, um, yeah, let's try x equals 3 for that. So we've got 1 plus 3 squared versus 1 plus 3 squared. You see I'm just putting x equals 3 in? So that's 4 squared versus 1 plus 9. See, I'm not doing anything clever here. Yeah, I could do it all in one step, but why not just write it out slowly and just take each step as it comes and think about it? That's 16. 4 fours are 16 versus 10. And ha! They're not equal. Not equal. Blah. So there's a lesson in here, which is that when you use English, 1 plus x squared, English doesn't really cut the mustard when it comes to mathematics. English is not good enough. You need to use proper mathematical notation and not just use talking. This is mathematics, not English. I'm going to stop there.